I'm pretty sure you all have heard of vegans at this point. You know, British people who don't eat animals or animal products. Not barbaric. Eat a steak, bro. Hunt for it. It tastes sweet. That'll make you give up your irrefutable moral philosophy. Jokes aside, when I see us meat lovers criticise vegans, there are often big mistakes I see us make, which give the vegans an ego boost or moral superiority. First interesting fact about their cult, they follow this definition of veganism from the vegan society, which in short the definition says to avoid animal exploitation, cruelty and death as far as is practical and possible. Absolutely disgusting. Imagine not exploiting, abusing or killing animals. Why can't they be normal and just forget they have empathy or sympathy? Okay, so the first problem I see meat lovers do in debates is don't force your belief down my throat or down our throats. It's important to note that force is massive on object plus acceleration. By my calculation, um, vegans have the biggest objects of them all, which is trying to take away our meat. The acceleration of their beliefs is about 40 words an argument, which makes up force 0 out of 5 steaks. I can't eat a steak with them telling me how to live my life. Fuck, that's like telling a school your bully to stop bullying children because they said bully to bully children who are out exploited and abused by bullies will suffer and later develop serious mental health and self esteem issues. The next problem argument I see from meat lovers is cultures. I see the argument that vegans use slave made products, which is true. I think that's something both vegans and meat lovers like us love too. We love slave-made products, but why is that an argument against them and not yourself, if you're the one supporting it? Come on dude, let me eat my Apple products in peace, and get the right for it to repair shit out of here. You say it's wrong to have these products, as if it's a bad thing to support slave labour. Obviously we can't stop slavery, so let's keep contributing to it. The next bad argument I see is the cycle of life. I haven't watched The Lion King so I won't pretend I know what happens in the movie, but I will pretend I know what happens in the movie. I think uh, Tom said to Jerry, I'm allowed to eat you bro. You're a tiny mouse so it's okay, it's a circle of life. Ignoring the fact these are all fictional animals in a fictional story, that's so called damn right. But you forget the most important part of appealing to nature, sniffing the ass of a potential mate. Oh yeah, that's a shit. You know, that's the most powerful thing about the circle of life. Just when you find prey that you're so vulnerable, so helpless, so weak, so stupid. It's so good to use them and eat them. Vegans will never get that point, but us meat lovers will. The next thing is privileged positions. I think meat lovers do a bad job at this argument. You need to mention that you were brought up in a Christian family that leaned on the far right of the political spectrum, and how they love to oppress oppressed females the most exploited species on the planet. Then when you call the vegan privileged white people, make sure you bring up how the one kilogram bags of vegetables costing one dollar is a very privileged thing, because all of us of rich people ever eat is caviar and gold steak. It's a privilege to be poor, vegans. Duh. Be grateful you even get the crops that animals on the farms would actually eat instead. You could call vegans ableist too because there's no one size fits all solution. There's no such thing as troubleshooting, just eat meat. Another thing I see others doing wrong is reducing your meat intake. No, increase. Ignore the carnival diet of both saying they feel ill on this diet. They're not true carnivores. I'm a true carnivore. <coughs> Never get sick. It's probably all that cooked and washed meat they eat that gets them sick. The only true way to live is by giving into your primal instincts, like salivating at prey, getting scared by thunder and lightning, tearing up meat with our teeth, and the fear of insects and tigers, not paying our taxes, and our fight or flight response. And also breeding all those deadly viruses in factory farms so alpha males like me can get stronger is exactly what the nature we need to live in to survive. The next thing is something meat lovers don't mention enough. Vegan supplements are just a waste of time. 
Pro, dude. One minute out of your day to take one or two supplements that you either swallow chew. One minute out of the 1440 minutes a day we have. Come on, be serious. One minute is a lot of time. The only natural and quick way to get nutrients is through meat. It's not like we could get the nutrients through plant sources. Why would you waste your time with a supplement when you could waste time telling a pretty peak and to eat a steak, bro? And triple check you wrote that down correctly because they might not get it. Well, nourish vegans. My god, there are so many of them. Look at them. They eat meat. They look like bones, but when they go vegan, they suddenly have all this fat that definitely isn't muscle. Even if it is muscle, look at those pecs. Dude, that one on the left is 2mm shorter than the other one. Must be a deficiency. I know what it is. You require more Vespine gas. Plants feel pain. Ignoring that hundreds or thousands of plants animals eat to grow, that's that I pretend I don't see, plants do feel pain. They have a reaction to when they are injured through a kitchen knife or mishandling. Hey, hey, don't hold the carrot at its base. Hold it by the groin. Also, when you slice through an onion and your eyes begin to water, that's you crying because you can't bear the guilt of cutting an innocent little onion. It's not the same as cutting an animal's throat, though because the animal feels less pain only because I say so. Plus, plants are more vulnerable than animals, so eat the ones who eat the plants, which is the animals. You need to make sure you provide no evidence, especially for health and environment. Usually the only way to convince someone with in an argument is with an argument that sounds good. For example, meat is good for you, XD. God, that makes me want to eat some KFC from the trash outside of it. Just pick up the string you used bones covered in someone else's saliva and use lemon wet wipes. When a vegan uses evidence, you give them a convincing argument like the one above because you can't refute them. Alternatively, you could try to get them to connect with the animals spiritually, tell these extremist vegans that you are able to contact the dead animals, who are able to give you consent for taking their life abruptly. It's a bit like the existence of God, it's only true if you make it up. Another point vegans won't understand that meat lovers don't explain enough. It's okay to do bad things to someone if you treat them nicely. So I think a lot of meat lovers like I don't say this, and vegans miss the point as a result. So whilst you can treat slaves well, you can also keep them as a slave. And there, you've just beaten vegans in the debate. Meat tastes good. Again, meat lovers fail to make a point in this argument, because all vegans will say is, yes, of course it tastes good. Usually that's because of seasonings. What they don't know is that there's more than just meat. There's milk, there's eggs. As your own urine. Those taste great and provide excellent nutritional value and reduce our life expectancy. Those are all we need to live. You also forget to mention that there's a great range of meat and animal products out there. There's dogs that are bred for consumption and are apparently tasty. The street is just roaming with tasty subjects for all free range. Like most things, pleasure is justified when there's severe amounts of pain or immorality. Guys, also make sure never to use critical thinking or demonstrable evidence. It will make you too smart. Another argument I see meat lovers screw up is animals are less intelligent than humans. Well, yeah. A lot like how some humans are less intelligent. We should eat them too. Easy pickings as well. They're not going to understand pain and suffering like animals do. They're just going to fall ill anyway or die a more horrific death. It's not like they have a brain or anything, like a superior meat lovers. Plus, God put animals on the planet for us to eat, ignoring the thousands of edible plants that God put there. And how do we get the meat we love? We hunt. We have canines, you see. What was that? A gun right behind me that I used to hunt? No, there's not. What are you talking about? Haven't you seen me rip this deer apart with just my teeth? Or see me do it again. Wild animals suffer in the wild too, you know. I know it's not related to vegan, but I thought you should know. 
Why are all vegan products named after meat products? This is one vegans cannot answer. Obviously, obviously it's because of their predator instincts, like a placebo. They want to believe they're eating meat, so they call it meat to convince themselves it's meat. How did we not realise this sooner? Jeez. What, what they're doing is like drawing the Mona Lisa from a different art style. It's so wrong to deface an original like that. It doesn't belong to you, and you shouldn't call it Mona Lisa because you're trying to reference it. Therefore, it's not the same as Mona Lisa. There can only be one Mona Lisa. The same way that there can only be one corporation to rule them all. Right, so I think we've beat vegans. No more of their stupid marches or campouts. No more cult like behaviour, no more activists. They are defeated. Wait, hold on a sec. Vegan just responded to me. What? What about animal sentience? What about how you would feel if you were in their situation? Oof, guys, I don't know. This is, um. This is all to argue against. I don't feel so good. Is that guilt? Is it guilt that I feel? Is that sympathy? Disgusting, make it stop. I'm gonna reply, I'm eating a super juicy steak right now. With extra wood. No, that won't work. Uh, wrong steak. Um, I'm going to order double burgers right now and add the basket. Check out. There we go. Fuck! Double vegan burgers. Why do I get those instead? Guys, I think I'm totally vegan. That's it guys, I'm going vegan. I can't really argue against that. Animals are sentient and they feel everything we do. They share the same traits as us. I guess that means change is possible for anyone. 